Hello students, welcome to the next part of the chapter 4, Metals and Non-Metals. In the first part, I told you that the elements are classified into metals and non-metals based on their physical and chemical properties. And in this part, we are going to learn about the difference between metals and non-metals based on their physical properties. How metals and non-metals are different from each other based on their physical properties. To begin with, let us take the state of metals and non-metals. I will parallelly discuss about metals and non-metals so that you can easily understand. See, the metals are generally solid. You take iron, aluminium, copper, isn't it? Gold, silver, platinum, all the metals are solid. Except a single metal, which is the only metal available in liquid state, that is mercury. So, we can write that metals are generally solids. Metals are generally solid, except except mercury the mercury the symbol is hg hg is derived from a latin word hydra or gyra hg except mercury all other metals are solids and in case of non metals non metals are available in solid state liquid state as well as in gaseous state so we can write non metals are solids liquid or gaseous they are solids liquid or gaseous see solid you know solid phosphorus is a solid metal sorry solid non-metal sulfur is a solid non-metal bromine bromine br br means bromine bromine is the liquid metal Bromine is in liquid state at room temperature and nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, okay, all these metals or non-metals are nitrogen, oxygen, hydrogen, all these non-metals are in gaseous state, okay, so which is the non-metal which is in liquid state, okay, very good, bromine, bromine is the liquid non-metal at room temperature. Next, let us see the difference based on their hardness. Okay. Based on the hardness, let us see the difference between metal and non-metal based on hardness. Metals are generally hard, you know, iron, it's very hard, copper, very hard metal. Metals are generally very hard, except sodium and potassium sodium and potassium you can even just you can cut with your hand or with your knife you can cut but can you cut iron no so metals are generally hard which are the exceptional metals which are soft yes sodium and potassium sodium and potassium are soft okay so we can write general characters like generally metals are very hard exception Exception are sodium Na, potassium K, sodium Na, it is derived from natrium K, it is derived from Latin word Kali. So, sodium and potassium are exceptions. Okay, whereas generally metals are hard. And non metals, non metals are uh, normally soft or we can say brittle. It can easily break. We can break the non-metal very easily. They are soft or brittle, we say. Say for example, carbon. You know carbon? With your hand, with your hand you can crush it. So, the non-metals are generally soft or brittle. But there is one exception is there. Which is that? Diamond. Okay, diamond is a non-metal. It's a form of carbon. 
which is the hardest material ever known on earth okay so which is the hardest substance known on the earth surface diamond so diamond is an exception here okay except diamond we can write diamond is very hard and it is one of the hardest material known on the earth surface then coming to c luster luster means the shining nature normally the metals are very shiny they have a shiny surface say uh, see gold platinum silver copper even iron okay iron the fresh iron piece are very lustrous they have shining surface so the metals are generally having a shiny surface or shining surface we call it as metals are lustrous okay metals are lustrous that means they have a shining surface whereas non metals are non lustrous non metals will not shine you know sulfur will not shine phosphorus will not shine so they are non lustrous except yes diamond again except diamond 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 can shine and next difference next physical property i am going to tell you about malleability malleability this is very important children malleability you know that aluminium silver our iron dusts and benzes are available in sheets they are available in the form of thin sheets you know from our hotels you bring packed food no that packed food the hotel people use that silver foils or aluminium foils for pack, packing the food see aluminium foil that paper very thin paper see such very very thin sheets can be made out of metals what is malleability see malleability is the property of metals by which the metals can be hammered into very thin sheets okay the metals can be hammered or beaten into very thin sheets this property is called malleability since the metals exhibit the property of malleability we call metals are malleable metals are malleable why we call metals are malleable because metals can be beaten or hammered into very very thin sheet you just imagine about the thin sheets you are bringing from uh, what do you call shops in packed food aluminium foils okay such a thin sheet can be made out of uh this metals so metals are generally malleable see so your dust iron dust okay the iron is hammered into thin sheets so metals are malleable whereas non metals are non malleable okay non metals are non malleable non metals cannot be uh hammered into sheets if you hammer it it will become powder it will break okay because non metals are brittle so non metals are non malleable whereas metals are malleable they can be beaten or hammered into very 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 thin sheets okay a question may be asked like this why aluminium foils are used for packing packing food items what you can write yes very good because aluminium foils or aluminium is a metal which is very malleable metal one of the malleable metal metals aluminium therefore aluminium can be beaten into or uh, thin sheet so that it can be used for packing food diamonds see gold is the most malleable metal that's why gold is 
even very small one gram of gold by one gram of gold we can make different ornaments jewelries the next property is ductility what is ductility the properties of materials by which they can be drawn into thin wires the when the materials are drawn or pulled into very thin wires then we call that property as ductility ductility is the property by which a material can be drawn into very thin wires see the metals we are using metal wires copper wires we are using see the copper why we are using copper as thin wire because the copper can be drawn into very thin wires long wires similarly see the gold gold is the most ductile metal or most ductile material you can say okay a one gram of gold if you take a one gram of gold that can be drawn into nearly 2.5 to 3 kilometers one gram gold just imagine one gram gold can be drawn into 2.5 to 3 kilometers almost 3 kilometers distance that much ductile the gold is so generally the metals are ductile metals are ductile means the metals can be drawn into thin wires so metals are ductile okay exception is there sodium and potassium that cannot be because they are very soft they cannot be drawn into thin wires but all other metals are ductile the non metals are generally non ductile non metals are non ductile that means they can that cannot be drawn into thin wires except diamond okay diamond can be drawn into wire even graphite also okay that can be drawn into thin wires so these are exceptions next one sonorous what is sonorous see when the metals are beaten touch the metals produce a ringing sound okay so the metals are generally sonorous that means it can produce sound when beaten on it metals can produce ringing sound or a sound when beaten on metals so metals are sonorous they are capable of producing sound so we say that metals are sonorous whereas non metals you see the carbon the wooden carbon piece okay it will not produce sound so the non metals are non sonorous okay metals are sonorous whereas non metals are non sonorous okay and next physical properties difference in physical properties is between the conductivity metals are very good good conductors of heat and electricity metals are very good conductors of heat and electricity you know copper wires copper is one of the very good conducting metal so metals are very good conductors of heat and electricity whereas non metals are bad conductors except graphite okay graphite is another form of carbon which is a very good conductor but all other non metals are bad conductors okay so metals metals are good conductors okay metals are good conductors of heat and electricity and non metals are bad conductors or insulators non metals are bad conductors or insulators except graphite graphite is a do graphite is a non metal it's a good conductor okay graphite except graphite see next let us see about density density you know metals are very heavy and they are denser denser than non metals so we can say that metals have high density okay metals have high density except lithium which is the least dense metal 
okay generally metals are denser whereas non metals are less dense that is the next difference having high density we can say that metals have high density whereas non metals have low density they have low density and the last metals are generally high melting point and boiling point metals have high boiling point and melting point whereas non metals have very low melting point and boiling point okay metals have high boiling point and bp and mp melting point high metals have high boiling point and melting point whereas non metals have low boiling point and low melting point okay so these are the difference see how many difference okay those materials those elements which possess these physical properties we kept under metals and those elements which possess these physical properties we kept under non metals now you understood how the elements are classified isn't it see based on its physical properties metals possess uh, metals are solids except mercury they are hard they are lustrous they are malleable they are ductile metals are sonorous metals are good conductors of heat and electricity they are high density they have a high boiling point and melting point so those materials those elements which possess these properties we kept under metals we kept the elements under metals and see the non metals non metals are solid liquid or gaseous they are soft or brittle they are non lustrous they are non malleable they are non ductile non sonorous they are bad conductors of heat and electricity they have less density and they have low boiling point and melting point so those elements which possess these characteristics are kept under non metals okay so this is how metals and non metals are classified into sorry the elements are classified into metals and non metals based on the, their physical properties hope you understood this